cuffs, guys. Make sure you take care of your rotator cuffs. So right now, have dumbbells doing some external rotations from my rotator cuff and my shoulders. Right now, using the shoulder horn. You can see I bring the weight up, then down, up, and down, up, and down. As mentioned earlier in another video, shoulder horn actually helps keep everything nice in place while I'm doing this. Definitely got there when you're gonna work out your chest, especially if you're going heavy, will change. So right after doing that, you gotta calculate through some kind of like a reverse chest fly motion. Pick the dumbbells back up, and go out. Get away to really warm the rotator the cuffs. You guys FYI, as you can see, I'm only using 10 pounders because you do not want to go super heavy with that size because you will snatch some stuff up. So yeah, it's like one of your exercises where I actually recommend trying to do girl weight, especially your first time. Alright. Alright, that kind of felt like getting my shoulders a little bit of rest. So today I decided to say, you know what? Let me just keep it at a moderate weight, throw the chains on there to make it a little more challenging. So here you can see, I decided to go ahead and do some incline bench press. So I actually did about five sets of this for six to eight reps. And of course, by doing incline, I decided, and why not go ahead and do flat bench? And for some reason, after doing all those incline presses with the chains, flat bench felt real light. So you can see here, I started going slow, and then I was like, man, I started speeding up. Felt good, so I actually did a reverse drop set here. Then likewise, went up to like 225, then of course, stopped right there and said, you know what, get the shoulders a rest. Went back down to 185 for a couple sets, then back down to 135 for one set, doing reverse rest. Okay, after hitting the upper and middle chest for all the press movements, I decided to go ahead for lower pecs. So right now, I decided to go ahead and get the spinning trainer and do a quick super set of dips with spinning trainer push-ups, aka chest press. So basically, I did about like three sets of this back to back. Okay, so I want to get more upper chest today. Right now, I decided to go ahead and switch it up and do some incline dumbbell flies. So I decided to superset these for about eight reps with some close grip incline presses for five reps.
is the most killer tricep size so right now I pretty much have a neutral grip barbell and currently at this point I'm doing uh, skull crushes so I decided to set the skull crushes with well, some close grip bench press another good exercise for your triceps So right now, I'm starting to do some burnout sets, so I decided to go ahead and do three sets of decline chest press with resistance bands. It may not look like it's that much, but doing everything else, it starts to burn after a while. And of course, likewise, it's doing decline, I decided to go right to incline. As you can see here, I decided to superset it, first of all, with the reverse grip, because the harder movement. So I decided to superset it with reverse grip, and of course, regular grip. And once again, guys, this burns. So for people that are saying, well, you got resistance, why are you straining, man? It don't look like you got that much weight, man. I'm like, try it. Then say something. Finish off triceps with some tricep push downs from our resistance bands. And at the same time, I said, might as well give a shout out to the YouTuber out there known as Average Joe Muscle, who was talking about how his gym has a ghetto set for tricep push downs. Well, if you think your cable setup is ghetto, what do you think about this? <laughs> Finish it off with the tried and true resistance bang ab crunch day. If it's not broke, don't try to fix it. Video. And once again, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Peace out.